Yeah, Kelly, the numbers are improving, but we're definitely not out of the woods yet. The number of borrowers in government or private sector COVID related forbearance plans fell slightly down by just 11,000 this week compared with last week. Fannie and Freddie loans in forbearance dropped by 14,000 and bank or privately securitized loans fell by 2,000. But those were offset partially by an increase of 5,000 loans in FHA and VA bailouts. So total, as of October 20th, nearly 3 million borrowers remain in active COVID forbearance plans. That's about 5.6% of all active mortgages. And 80% of those still in bailouts have had their terms extended. Now, as for the picture for the homeowners, it continues to improve, but that is not the case for renters, as more of them are struggling to pay their rent. 10% of renters, in fact, surveyed by the U.S. Census, said they had no confidence, zero, that they could pay next month's rent. And a new report from the Philly Fed estimates that 1.34 million renter households will owe a collective $7 billion in rent by December of this year, which is around $5,400 per household. And this, of course, is all a result of pandemic-related job losses, which have hit renters much harder than homeowners, Kelly. And it's a good reminder that even as we're talking about how strong the housing market is, this segment is very different story and much weaker. And what happens in January when this eviction moratorium expires? Well, so the CDC put that moratorium in place, but they actually updated it just last week, saying that landlords could now start the legal eviction process, just not remove the tenants from their homes until January. But that means that come January, if these renters still haven't paid up, they could be kicked out almost immediately. And again, they're the ones who have been really hit hard by job losses. And while homeowners have gotten this bailout with their mortgages, they can tack it onto the end of their mortgage, the payments they've missed, renters get none of that, nothing. Right. They would probably need another act of Congress in order to delay that from happening en masse in January. Dan, appreciate it. Dan Olick for us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.